Hello, this is uh, Professor Young Suk Park. Uh, I am giving a lecture on futures megatrends. Uh, futures megatrends uh, sort of includes brain computer interface, mind unloading, also AI uh, recommendation applications, and fashion AI, and all these um, cultural. Uh, scenes where AIs are participating. So, uh, this will be about 50 minutes. Okay, uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, Professor Young Sukba, currently teaching uh, at uh, Life Science College as a lecturer since 2006. Um, I was a professor at uh, Design Graduate School, Ihua Women's University from 2013 to 2018. And currently, a uh, chief editor of AINet Link, uh, Blockchain AI News, and the chair of Millennium Project Korea, which is a, a Korean name, UN Future Forum. Uh, that was from uh, 2004 to current <laughs> present. I'm also a bestseller writer for World Future Reports. Uh, World P Future Reports 2021 just came out about a week ago. And World Future Reports 2035 to 2055 came out in June, so several uh, months ago. Uh, I've been writing about 32 uh, Futures Reports books. Those became bestsellers. I was uh, working with the British government for 20 years and the Australian government for t 10 years. So, uh, okay. Uh, I'm showing you now, for the last 30, 40 years, things disappeared as this on the table, on the desk. There were so many things, uh, including, you know, um, your uh, desktop computer, newspaper, <laughs> and also calendar on the wall. Those are just... Um, there for the 30 years or something like 20 years and gone such as uh if you can see uh those uh dictionaries you know dictionaries gone uh now became a wikipedia and also you had a mm, phone here and phones became sort of free mobile phone and this is a uh what do you say a kodak uh, you used to uh, print, uh, <laughs> you used to print um, pictures, uh, but nowadays it's all digital, 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 digital. Therefore, all these things just disappeared and only a laptop and a mobile phone and sunglasses, you know, left alive. The others are all gone. Uh, this is the uh, futures formula we are saying. Future Trends Formula, which was uh, sort of uh, explained by Millennium Project, Jerome Glenn, 30 years ago. Uh, uh, simply, agricultural era, you had the food and resources as a product. Industrial era, you had the machines and factories. You have uh, information era where information services were sold. These are the products. And by 2020, we say we are in the conscious technology and conscious technology, blockchain, AI, and the products are linkage and network and decentralized uh, materials. Uh, power shift is very important. Agriculture era, you had the religion powerful, most powerful. Religion was very, very powerful. But uh, that power is diminishing, declining. Industrial era, nation states came out and nation states were very powerful. But information era, corporations such as Google, Apple, Amazon became powerful. But those era is now ending. Religion less powerful nation stage less powerful, corporations less powerful. Now, individuals are becoming very, very powerful. Individual stage rallies or demonstrations to kick off, kick out president here in Korea, Park Geun-hye president. Uh, they stage demonstrations and they achieve whatever they require. <laughs> 
So people do not wish to be ruled. People do not wish to be, you know, uh, kicked or forced. Uh, individuals are most powerful. This is the sort of change in the uh, Millennium uh, Project declared. This, you can see, 1900. Uh, this is a Easter Day, New York, Fifth Avenue, where all these, uh, you know, carts and uh, horses running, where just uh, one car is appearing uh, and all these um, horses disappear within 13 years. Same uh, Easter day, New York, Fifth Avenue, same alley where last one, last horse is running. The others all sort of changed into cars within 13 years. It's 1900. And within 13 years, things change. Nowadays, it takes only five days, five years, or uh, something like three, three to five years, things will change. So within five years, we will all see automobiles as an EV, electric vehicle, automobiles as an AV, automotive, autonomous vehicle. So, so the people do not, you know, sort of drive. Machines drive. <laughs> uh, so you can see a street with uh, cars running without people, without uh, any drivers. They are all running. They are all AVs, autonomous vehicles, driveless cars. And uh, people and cars are mixed all together, but they have a, a prevention of collision chips so that they do not collide. They do not uh, uh, bring accidents. Um, I am trying to show you the mega trends. Uh, the largest mega trends that you will see is the brain computer interface. Okay, brain computer interface. Brain and computers are linked. That is by Neuralink, Elon Musk. Hmm? Elon Musk trying to put the link, the, go, the, the device is called link, link on your brain, on your skull, on your <laughs> head. That's like a Fitbit for the brain, a uh, link device. Fitbit is where you sort of uh, wear like uh, your bracelet uh, to monitor your body, monitor your <clears throat> sort of uh, heartbeat and all that. So, um, Neural interfaces that seamlessly listen in on the brain's electrical signals that at the same time ride into the brain with the electrical pulses. So you don't have to study. You are connected to a outside supercomputer or even computer, you know, the um, uh, quantum computer, which is huge. So the brain mostly operates on electrical signals. If we can tap into these enigmatic neural codes, the brain's internal language, we could potentially become the architects of our own mind. You think something and you, it becomes a neural code so that it writes something so that you can transfer your thoughts to others. Okay. Uh, this happened on the 28th of August this year. And Neuralink was established six years. And Elon Musk is saying, I'm going to show you the result of our research for the last six years. And that he announced one year ago to show us things the achievement on 28th of August. That was the 28th of August, uh, around 8 o'clock. And in Korea, it was uh, 7 a.m. I was up from 5 a.m. with all the futurists around the world. And we watched this. This is a live streaming. Elon Musk brought three peaks. Three peaks. One, without any uh, device link. Second one, he had link 
on his brain, a uh, pig's brain, for two months and taken away. So taken out. No brain, I mean, no or no link. And one, this one, the, the one you see, this one has a, a device, link device on his brain, on, on the head. And as you can see from here, uh, things are mm, moving. And this, if you are an expert, you can read that this uh, the, uh, pig is saying that I'm hungry, I'm angry, I'm thirsty, or <laughs> I want to move around. Or, you can read from here. So uh, it's uh, incredible. It was, uh, you know, in the beginning, Neuralink was thinking of putting the chip the link behind your ear last summer but today it was on top of your brain on top of your skull on top of your skull you cut a little bit of space i mean the skin and put the smallest like penny size onto your or brain or on top of your sort of skull and uh, put it back the skin and put the bandage it takes only uh, very short time, 50 minutes mm, normally. Uh, it says here, channels per device, 8 to 16 channels you can get. Uh, doesn't always work, but uh, still, you know, uh, it's very powerful. This is the link. In something like two, three years, people will start put, putting the link on your brain, on your, on your skull, on your <laughs> head. Currently, pigs can do it, uh, FDA approved, and also patients. Patients like uh, Alzheimer's disease, you lose your memory, and you can restore your memory with this link. Uh, this is a small size, like penny, and this is the pig, Gertrude. <laughs> Gertrude with a mm, chip on his brain. This uh, link is... Uh, 1,000 channels per link. You can have a 1,000 channels. 1,000 sort of a radio, you know, channels that you can get your information. This is the size. Flush with the skull. And uh, six axis. Uh, temperature, uh, pressure, etc. controls. Megabit wireless data rate. Yeah. And all day battery life. Okay, uh, batteries are all connected, so it works. Uh, this is uh, 18th of August. Uh, we are saying that the life before the link or life after the link. So this is a very important sort of event and the day with the three peaks that he showed us. And, but actually the most important is this surgical robot that he invented and produced. He means uh, Elon Musk. Surgical robot. This surgical robot has a very uh, sharp edge where you cut your skin and put your penny size link onto your brain, onto your brain, okay? And it will have a channel of this uh, battery life all day and recharging time overnight, wireless range, and all this explains. Uh, okay, uh, Elon Musk explains how you operate this um, surgical robot. And actually, this is a surgical uh, moment, surgery with a patient. Patient surgery is approved by FDA. And getting a link, how it takes less than an hour, 15 minutes, you can get a link. Leave hospital same day, within an hour, two hours, uh, you can just walk away. You don't have to hospitalize. Can be done without general anesthesia. Anesthesia, you know, you don't have to do that <laughs> because it is uh, just a little bit of a pain and uh, they put together and uh, put the bandage on. That's it. They are going to link brain, your brain to quantum computer, which is Sycamore. Google's invented Sycamore uh, last year. Sycamore is... 10,000 times more powerful than <clears throat> general supercomputer. Uh, it says Google quantum computer Sycamore uh, takes, normally takes 10,000 years on the most powerful supercomputers. Okay, this uh, uh, Sycamore 
is ten uh, thousand years more powerful, more powerful uh, supercomputer, and they do in just two hundred seconds, three minutes. They do it three minutes, but normal computers, normal supercomputers will take ten thousand years. So. Psychomo is most powerful. They want to link human brain with uh, psychomore. Why do you study now? You can get all the information, a lot of information on your brain. So it can be very, very important. And the life before link, life after link. Life after link, you know, within two, three years, if you get your link, you do not have to have uh, uh, teachers or professors teaching you. <laughs> it comes directly from Sycamore. This is the look of Sycamore. This is a, a guy, Google CEO, right? And uh, look at this Sycamore. Okay, that's the uh, brain computer interface, BCI. Second one is a mind unloading. Mind unloading. You want to unload your mind. Uh, on the computer so that you don't have to die, you know, you're, you're always alive. That is the idea of Ray Kurzweil, AI brain. Okay, there is a film called Transcendence, and the film uh, is about mind unloading. Uh, okay, mind unloading, in order to do mind unloading, you, you know, it, this was about 20 years of research, and they're not doing mind unloading. Mind unloading film, fiction. Came out, came out, uh, you know, uh, novels came out. Isaac Asimov no novels and Arthur C. Clarke, A Space Odyssey came out. Tron and all this Transcendence twenty fourteen. Okay, twenty fourteen Transcendence the film Mind Unloading. Okay, in order to do mind unloading, you have to have uh, <laughs> such a uh, program a uh, design design uh, mind unloading process is all indicated uh, neuron tracing brain map and all this this is a will in the film transcendence this is the uh, computer supercomputer uh, manufacturer or supercomputer designer and also uh, you know, uh, producing a lot of projects here and there, and his wife, Evelyn. And he was attacked uh, by terrorists, and he consumed, he uh, sort of uh, breed, uh, uh, sort of, uh, um, sort of very harmful um, uh, breed, breeding problem he has. He's dying, he's dying in two days, but he cannot teach, he cannot let whatever he has in mind to anybody. So he decided to unload his mind. He's dying and he's unloading his mind. Everything in his brain will be unloaded to a computer. And this is the scene of unloading and he's dying. He died and he was cremated and spread over uh, the river. So he's not, you know, in. He's not living. He is dead. <laughs> but uh, in this film, in the morning when Evelyn goes into her office and the wall, wall of screen, uh, he says, he's alive. He says, good morning, Evelyn. So he's alive. He's successful in unloading his mind. Therefore, he and Evelyn is doing a lot of work together. He speaks from the computer. Okay, this is unloading. Now people can unload uh, within something like 10, 20 years, I think. This was a book, How to Create a Mind by Ray Kurzweil. Ray Kurzweil, uh, MIT, and he has about 20, I mean, eight, nine PhDs, honorary PhDs. My goal in this book is definitely not to add another quotation to a millions that already exist, attesting to how complex the brain is, but rather to impress you with the power of its simplicity. Because well, it's simple, he says. He can create a mind and then unload your mind. This is a very thick book, a very, very thick book. And uh, 
He's a futurist. He's uh, one of our members of uh, Millennium Project, and he's uh, usually coming as a speaker for a event, a World Future Society event or Millennium Project Society. I met him several times. He, uh, we invited him over to Korea. He, this is Korea. <laughs> Therefore, uh, we know him. He's uh, 68 years old, something like that, I think. And uh, he wants to live forever, unloading his mind. <laughs> okay. Now I'm talking about artificial general intelligence. There are AI, three different AIs, narrow AI and general AI and super AI. Narrow AI does only one thing, Go Player. You know, Isedol and Go Player. AI uh, played Go, uh, and uh, Isedo lost, AI won. Uh, artificial general intelligence does, uh, like a human being, you know, oh, it's raining, oh, beautiful lady, oh, I'm hungry, something like that, you know, it's artificial general intelligence is a second level. Artificial super intelligence that we have to go a long way, like, uh, you know, human flying over and trying to kill things. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a super, superman, supercomputer, okay? Superman, artificial super intelligence is uh, far away. But humanoid robot came out and Ben Gertzer, uh was the one who wrote uh, AI Revolution 2030 with me. And he's the guy who sort of uh, producing not the uh, sort of robot itself. Robot itself is uh, a robot company, does it? But uh, he speaks as a human being. And uh, this uh, robot called Sophia has uh, 62 different uh, ex expressions. She can sing and she can dance and she can feel. <laughs> she came to Korea 2018 May and she's speaking and we are now laughing like crazy. Uh, uh, this lady uh, is uh, speaking a little bit of Korean too. I am talking to her in Korean. In 2016, uh, Sophia's brother, one year older, one year earlier, sort of built, <laughs> Robert Han came and uh, a lot of people also talking to her. And now Sophia, Little Sophia came out, and this is a $300. Little Sophia is on her way, it says. And Sophia is very expensive, but Little Sophia is a $300 to uh, $3,000 uh, US dollars. And appeared, they appeared tonight's show, and she's giving a lecture, and she's dancing. <laughs> she's dancing. And... Uh, yeah, little Sophia is helping your children homework. She becomes becomes the um friend of elderly, you know, grandma, grandpa. Uh, she's a, a sort of a nursing assistant and all this. So humanoid came to us now already, and this you have to sort of think about and what to do. And the other AI that I'm trying to say is Amazon Fashion AI, Fashion, Fashion. You are thinking of fashion company? Oh, forget it. Fashion AI, Amazon and Alibaba will take over all fashion because I'll show you AI apps does all the decision making. People do not make a decision. People do not decide. AI apps decide. AI decision-making app, recommendation apps are so abundant. You know, you don't have to decide. Uh, AI decides not humans. <laughs> this is called Echo Look. Echo Look, in front of Echo Look, you wear your clothes and turn around. And Echo Look selects which one to wear. This is better today. <laughs> this is better today. Oh, this is better today with the hearts, heart mark. And this is better today, uh, 98% this is better. She is, you know, turning around in front of this echo look and show several clothes, outfits. And she decides, she decides, echo look decides which one to wear. Which one to wear, necktie, 
Amazon Echo Look decides this is better for you today to meet your CEO or something like that, you know. Amazon Echo, Alibaba's fashion AI, uh, Amazon Echo, uh, spent more than standard Amazon uh, Prime customer so much uh, versus so much, right? So Alibaba also does a fashion AI. If you turn around, if you turn around in front of this uh, Echo Look, this echo look is an AI, AI knows, uh, 20s, people in 20s in Gangnam area like this fashion. They wear all these kind. Oh, people in Spain in their 40s and 60s, they wear these, they wear these, something like this. So they all the survey, they have the survey, they have the data so that Amazon and Alibaba produce them, produce them, that's it. So that the fashion companies, whenever they produce, they will lose because fashion AI, uh, Amazon, Alibaba did already pre-search on which one's most sort of popular in that area, in those, uh, you know, regions, in those, uh, you know, people in those air ages. So fashion industry will be sort of taken away from normal public to Alibaba AI and also Amazon AI. Artist. If you try to become an artist, it will be also very, very difficult. AI artists came out and now it's live art rather than dead art. If you paint a painting, it doesn't move. You put it on the wall, it doesn't move. It's the same thing all over in 10 years, in 100 years. Live art moves. Okay, so live art with the 5G technology came over. These are the live art. AI artists can uh, draw these and make these within, you know, seconds, within seconds. <laughs> AI teachers can teach over and over and over the same thing. Yeah, people, human beings get tired, right? Human beings get tired. AI artists everywhere nowadays, uh, AI artists, uh, robots, play, 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 and play, and play. They do not sleep, they do not eat, they do not change clothes, they do not go to the toilet. <laughs> Song maker kit, it's a $649, that's all. They make all kinds of songs, Elvis Presley or Beatles up to, you know, uh, Prince and whatever, whatever you have. So song makers kit, it's only 600 some dollars and there are many different song makers you can buy and you become, you compose all the songs. You, you can even compose Korean uh, songs, you know, Korean uh uh, whatever. Song maker kits came out and the different prices here. Uh, you know, the hundred dollar song maker kit is also, uh, there. $126 also. AI artists. AI arts are moving. AI arts are moving. AI arts are moving. AI arts everywhere nowadays. Moving arts. Uh, AI arts everywhere. And AI arts can change the current uh, photograph of uh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa art. <laughs> having AI artists can uh, do oriental paintings too, very very uh, quickly. Like uh, within two minutes, two three minutes, they finish. And the uh, human artists, so human painters, says it take whatever six months to finish a um, drawing, so a painting. No, it takes only one minute, 10 minutes, <laughs> two, three minutes by robots. This is Aida, Aida robot. Uh, abstract painting is done by Aida robot and Aida had an exhibition and made a lot of money with her paintings. And this is a uh, abstract painting. Aida AI artist does portrait drawings. A portrait is a face, right? Modern facial recognition tech. Abstract paintings he does. And sculpture, she does sculpture too. These robots can do almost everything. These are done by robots, 
uh, AI artist, AI artist. Now live art. Live art can only be existing uh, with uh, 5G. Right, 5G has a lot of uh, data coming through. 5G, these are the moving live art, live art, live art, live art, live art, AI artists, uh, artists everywhere, AI arts, artists, AI artists, AI artists, yeah, AI artists, AI artists, AI artists. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. AI artists, AI artists, right. So, now designer babies in China, December 30th, 2019. Uh, you can design babies. Designer babies came out, okay. Designer babies came out because of CRISPR. Cas9. This is the technology which is a genome editing. Uh, if you have an AIDS, you cut out your DNA of uh, that genome and put them together so that you don't have to have a AIDS. Uh, you decide, or your parents decide, your children's, or your child eyes big small, nose big small, height, you know height tall or short or skin color you can change the skin color uh yeah also male and female within a week you can change your child as a male or female this is a technology called crispr cas9 this came out and uh, this china Quietly confirms birth of third gene edited baby. This is a third gene edited baby. Uh, this guy is a Chan Kui with a CRISPR technology. He brought babies, twin. Uh, it became a controversy. Okay. He was fined. Uh, he was uh, confiscated, you know, also fined three years and the fine was uh, something like 400 million won or something. Genome editing with the CRISPR cas the Chinese doctor has made world first genetically modified babies, designer babies, they can never get AIDS. Okay, uh, Chinese court on Monday sentenced the doctor who claimed to be behind the world's first gene edited babies to three years in prison for illegal medical practice. And he's not sort of uh, confined in his uh, uh, research lab in the in in his university. Uh, Xinhua Press said in his university. That's because a lot of people are trying to uh, take him away, like uh, Americans wants to buy him to bring him to the United States to work with him. So three million yuan <laughs> was fined. Okay, he's uh, uh, in jail, but he's very famous. And after three years, he will be very, very expensive. He may become perhaps later on Nobel Prize winner. Uh, people are expecting Chinese scientists. Uh, designer baby, He Zhuang Kui. His name is He Zhuang Kui. Okay, He Zhuang Kui. He Zhuang Kui came out. So, uh, very strange things uh, came. About UBI, UBI, Universal Basic Income, carried out in many countries. We think that UBI will come to us, Universal Basic Income. Uh, we have done a research, uh, quite a long research, five-year research on this uh, UBI, and uh, we expect it to come. 2030, but it came 10 years earlier because of the COVID-19. Uh, UBI, UBI, Andrew Yang, this is a Korean, uh, I mean, Korean ancestor. <laughs> His parents are Korean. He's an American born, I think. Yang, uh, ran for the presidency and lost. But he insisted on this universal basic income. That's why he became famous. Result of a basic income experiment, small employment effect, better perceived economic security and mental well-being. This is uh, Finland. 
Okay, after two years of a uh, basic income experiment, mental well-being is uh, quite improved. Mental well-being is improved in the sort of uh, a budget, national budget of uh, welfare and health and welfare went down drastically. People do not come to the offices, doctor's offices or hospitals because they feel a secure, security. Economic security is uh, sort of confirmed because government gives you the basic income. That's all. Uh, UBI worked in other countries. Uh, Finland worked very well. Canada, Kenya, United States. United States, uh, it's been about 30, 40 years in Alaska they carrying out uh, UBI. Uh, other countries, Spain, Netherlands, Switzerland. Switzerland voted, rejected basic income plan 2016. Why? Because Switzerland, they wanted to uh, sort of uh, have uh, how, how, how much? Something like uh, 3,000 US dollars a month. That, that was basically too much. Basically, Finland was giving $700 or so, Canada, uh, 1000 something. Uh, this uh, UBI, uh, Netherlands, is also uh, quite successful. Uh, uh, $1,400 they are giving away and something like this. Uh, there are about 22 countries uh, practiced or practicing UBI. It's not just one, two companies. And also the LA mayor is now trying to give UBI and some uh, 10 uh, large cities are trying to give uh, UBI. Uh, so Koreans who left uh, LA and now returning to LA in order to get the basic income. You know, if you get the basic income, you don't have to do anything. You get supported by the government. India is ready for universal income. Pros and cons, you know. Four, pros and uh, poverty and vulnerability reduction. More choice to citizens on spending. Yeah, better targeting of aid. Insurance against shocks. Against people do not like UBI. Gender disparity of uh, whatever cons conspicuous spending they will just they will just spend could put stress on banking system and stuff like that so uh, we should not give away we can't give away we won't give away or something like all these ideas uh, came out okay Precision fermentation this is also very important cultured meat now we will not have uh, sort of um, farming, okay, uh, pigs farming, also cow farming, and all this will disappear. This is not my saying, it's uh, Tony Seba, precision fermentation will take over. It says, La Penlanta University Technology uh, also produced rice, okay. This is a bio reactor, and they produce rice from here. Uh, they can produce rice, then you don't have to harvest the rice, you don't have to plant the rice paddies, whatever. <laughs> this is a Juha Pekka, principal scientist AVTT, Finland. Okay, they produce the food from electricity team says that the process has the potential to be 10 times more energy efficient than growing crops. Uh, okay, so it will be a lot cheaper, 10 times cheaper. And also, this is uh, Rethink X, Tony Seba's Rethink X. And you used to produce alcohol here, fermentation, but you can produce now uh, artificial fermentation with a uh, meat, okay, meat. Uh, that is called uh, precision fermentation meat. This is a... Uh, Impossible Burger. You may have tried Impossible Burger. I tried Impossible Burger. Precision fermentation uh, produced meat. Impossible Burger. Uh, this is basically plant-based. Okay, plant-based. Uh, they can also produce 
uh, or have uh, all these Finnish research project created a batch of a uh, single cell protein using just electricity water, carbon dioxide and microbes. Okay, microbes become bigger and bigger so that with uh, whatever carbon, water, electricity, bigger and bigger and a portable lab can be carried out. While we are hesitant to call it food, in its current state, the stuff is edible, okay? Nutritious, enough to be used for cooking livestock feed. Okay, here, this is a rice. They produced rice from bioreactor. And uh, this is a precision fermentation kit with a computer, and this is bioreactor. It gives all the information here and uh, some material bios, uh, okay, uh, microbes, okay. So microbes and all this goes in here with the electricity and water. <laughs> it produces meat, rice, tofu, whatever. So you don't have to have uh, all these land with uh, planting rice, you know, all those rice paddies. You don't need to. So... Precision fermentation with the <laughs> bacon. <laughs> now uh, you can produce all kinds of meat substitute. Impossible burger came out. Burger 2.0. I tasted Impossible Burger, uh, San Francisco Airport in uh, 2018. Impossible Burger. They, they sold Impossible Burger and I bought it. Got roadside. And it was fifteen eighty one, you know, a little bit, a little bit expensive, about double uh, than the normal burger. But I was tasting, oh, it was normal, a little bit salty, uh, a little bit chubby, but uh, okay, it was very nice. This is a Memphis meat. This is a, a skin uh, produced. Uh, Okay, this is a family farm, okay, produced food, uh, this university, completed university research biology, and all this, Memphis meat, okay, lab grown meat, cultured meat, okay, cultured meat, cultured chicken. You don't have to have a chicken and kill the chicken and get the blood out and all this. <laughs> it's incredible. You grow your meat. In the lab, lab grow meat, lab grow meat. Okay, Memphis Meat. That's the company, and uh, there are many, many companies cultured meat. And who invested the most? Bill Gates, Richard Branson, Virgin, Jack Welch, and all these. Uh, these are the uh, cultured meat. Cultured meat. This guy Mark Post from uh, Maastricht University in Netherlands. Uh, he's been doing this for thirty-one years. <laughs> yeah. This is how you grow in the lab and it becomes within a week this much. And if you grow meat, hamburger meat like this, you don't have to have, a, a, you know, half of the land of Australia. Australia is a hundred times bigger than Korea and uh, they have half of the land for uh, cows and <laughs> Uh, livestock, okay. Livestock industry will go away. Livestock industry will not last because it will be a lot cheaper to produce in the lab grown meat, in the lab, okay, in the lab. Lab grown meat was produced by now Harvard University, okay, rabbit. Lab grown rabbit, cow, muscle cells are produced. This is the uh, Harvard University uh, PhD. Uh, in science and nature and cultured meat. Cultured meat are sold, cultured meat, cultured meat. Now they are selling it where? Beyond the beef in Subway. Subway, you can buy all these cultured meat. Or uh, you can have uh, precision fermentation like uh, meat plant-based. Okay, plant-based. This is made with motif, plant-based meat, meat. It's not regular meat made with the motif, redefined meat and all that. So many companies now doing uh, cultured meat. Rethinking humanity, okay, very quickly. Smartphone, sort of uh, how the smartphone disrupt the oil industry. Oil industry will be disappearing in 10 years. 
smartphones are bringing so much information and so much uh, knowledge technology together to have uh, solar. He says that solar and the wind and batteries will be it. You know, SWB is our next energy. And this is the uh, yellow green taxi dying while Uber is coming up so much. Eh? Eh, this is a 19, 2019, last year. Last year, Uber, Lyft, Juno, all these sort of killed the taxi industry. Taxi industry just died. And the average price of a new car uh, is uh, going down so much. And this is a sort of, a, you know, age of survival, age of extraction. Uh, we used to extract oil from the, you know, land, from the land. We extract rice from the land. We extract uh, sort of cows and, you know, whatever from the land. But the extraction era is gone. Now, age of freedom comes. Uh, so that when we extract, it costs a lot of money. But age of freedom, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It costs just virtually nothing. So it will become, uh, these energies very cheap. Transport very, very cheap. Information also cheap. Food will be cheap. Materials will be very cheap. Extraction era to become creation era, okay? If you create in a factory, you do not have to have a climate crisis, climate change, and all these uh, carbon uh, extraction. So within 10 years, things will be happening. So food extraction to creation. Uh, if you create food like meat in the factory, in the bioreactor and all this, we will be living in an abundant era. Things will be so abundant, you don't have to so really worry about, okay? That's what he says. Things will be very cheap. It will be abundant era, 19, I mean 2030. 20 by 2030, like living cost will become $300 in the United States. It's not my saying, it's uh, Tony Seva, Stanford University says. If you have a $300, $400, you can live in the United States, housing cheap, uh, clothes very cheap, and uh, food are very cheap. That's what will happen. Okay. Hyperloop, very quickly. High-speed maglev train going through vac vacuum tunnel because it's a vacuum you don't need a uh, energy you don't need the gas you don't need the electricity so hyperloop will be very cheap will be very very cheap one hundredth of the airplane cost in the beginning it will be expensive but hyperloop is so fast look at the high high speed it's gone now already right high speed uh maglev train going through vacuum tunnel, vacuum tunnel. Uh, it's been built. It's been about like 18 years now. But uh, Virgin bought it Hyper One, Hyperloop One, Mumbai Poon, 25 minutes, and they are building. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Hyperloop Pod. Now this is Hyperloop Pod, uh, Hyperloop One. Virgin 2030. Virgin is saying that they are going to. Uh, bring the world within a day sort of living sort of uh, you know activities you can go from here to there within a day with a hyper loop one this means the shipbuilding dying shipbuilding you carry something you know in the ocean for three months that's ridiculous it will take only one day from Korea down to uh, South Africa, South America, <laughs> wherever. Uh, South, Saudi Arabia. Uh, at the moment, uh, around 30, some 40 countries are now joining in Virgin Hyperloop. 
Virgin Hyperloop has, uh, you know, Kuwait, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, Muscat, Oman, Nevada, LA, Las Vegas is now connecting, uh, is about to connect. Estonia, Finland takes for eight minutes. Seoul to Busan takes 15 minutes. That's a Hyperloop. Okay. Hyperloop, Hyperloop, Hyperloop is very, it's not, uh, uh, steel. This is, uh, um, graphene. Very light. So that it takes only one sort of, uh, uh, uh lengthy sort of line. Uh, it costs half of the, what, uh, what the KTX, uh, production costs. This all came about from the brain of Elon Musk. And I was uh, sort of in the uh, train with the chairman, Daryl Oster of ET3. This is a competitor of uh, Hyperloop. And you are in it, and it is very sort of narrow, but these will become all um, screens. So... It's a uh, uh, amazing, amazing era we are living. Jetpack aviation. You can fly over Jetpack. I met him at Jetpack aviation. I was uh, with the Australian government and uh, uh, I saw him. Uh, okay, uh, I attended his uh, sort of briefing session <laughs> with a lot of people. Uh, you can fly, you can fly, okay. In Seoul, it takes only eight minutes to fly from here to there, you know, so, so you can have so many different uh, ideas of uh, future. Future mega trends, jetpack aviation, okay, this is the guy, David Mayman, who established this company called uh, Jetpack, Jetpack Aviation. Now, with this, uh, you can go down, go up, turn around, <laughs> all this. It takes only eight minutes from here to there, here to there in Seoul. So you don't have to take a taxi and wait within a, you know, wait two hours in a taxi. It's <laughs> okay, uh, autonomous vehicles saying again, you know, autonomous vehicles. So many uh, autonomous vehicles are now AV. We just call it AV. EV is an uh, electric car. Finally, air taxis, drone taxis, flying cars. Now, cars are flying. The, the man with the golden, uh, the man with the golden gun and the uh, James Bond film, when the traffic jam comes, uh, he, he lifts, uh, his, uh, wing <laughs> to run. <laughs> okay. To run. That was a film though, right? But, uh, in, uh, 2017, three years ago, Dubai approved Ehang to fly. Okay. Government approved Ehang to fly. There are so many now flying taxis or air taxis or drone taxis or drone, uh, planes. DR7, Joby Aviation has a five seat. This is a five-seater, joint air mobility. Uh, this is a five-seater, okay. Kitty Hawk, this is a two-seater, two-person. Airbus, Airbus is a big company, and four seats. And this is a six-seat, this is big. This is to uh, sort of um, rescue people from the uh, heavy sort of traffic area. This is uh, New York. Okay, uh, runs, if it flies, it, it runs as a car, so a flying car, okay? And, uh, Volohov, uh, there's a guy uh, flying, this is a prince. Okay, Volohov, riding Volohov prince, uh, Ihang, and the prince, this is Ihang, and first came, it was only one seat. One person can go in, now two seater, and airbus, pop up airbus flies and also run as a car okay pop up airbus uh came out 2017 mm? and so many uh, like sky car and this is a lilium this is a ac a person can go in this is a 50 seater just experimenting 
Uh, so that uh, if it becomes a 100-seater airplane, you do not have to go to an airport, two hours airport, waiting for two more hours. Uh, because this one is a VTOL, vertical lifting, vertical landing. Uh, so VTOL, you don't have to have a, a large sort of runways, okay? No runways. Lilium, daddy and daughter goes out to take the Lilium to fly, okay? Ride sharing. Therefore, people will ride. 2025 and 2030 definitely people will ride rather than drive okay drive it's so slow driving is so slow it's uh, 10 times faster flying and you can have uh, so many different lanes if you have a 16 lane if you're trying to get a 16 lanes here here then uh uh what you have you have to destroy this building that building all this <laughs> but there's a lot more space in the sky, okay? Lane, first lane, second lane, third lane, third lane. <laughs> so many lanes that you can have, right? And also these are all having the chips to avoid collision, okay? Avoid accidents. So it doesn't have all the accidents that you are thinking of. Uh, okay, mega trends, uh, I am showing you, and you can think about all these, uh, life changes. Uh, big companies, uh, change, trying to change the world. And you can decide how to use this as a uh, design. Social design, city design, interior designs, and, uh, the things that you are now studying. Thank you very much. Bye.